Adam Roosevelt. Adam Roosevelt. Adam Roosevelt. Adam Roosevelt. GOP military strategist. National security analyst. No stranger to bomb blast, having served in Afghanistan. Decorated Army soldier, retired himself, served our country proudly. Disabled veteran who was anything but unable. This puts our democracy in jeopardy. It puts our processes in jeopardy, and this needs to be called out. As a veteran of the United States Army and having served in two tours to Afghanistan, the first thing I'll say is we have to remember our moral compass here. We have to stand taller than the fray and be an example for both sides. There is a, a position that we must take, and I think that position is the American position. We knew that this was gonna potentially get into a situation with high level risks. We, the law enforcement community, and I'm now in the private sector, have to be able to forecast events, especially such as this. We must honor the process and the foundation of democracy. But I gotta ask myself as a leader, what position in this fight do I wanna take? What position do I wanna be categorized as? Iran is definitely a threat. If we look at what's in the NDAA, right? now. We know that they tried to appeal to the United Nations Security Council. We know that they made threats to the president. This really expands to all threat domains, which includes cyber, maritime security, which includes space, land, air, and sea assets to look at what additional risks may be out there. Our adversaries in Iran and in Russia will be looking at particularly leveraging this as a PR um, stunt, if you will, to leverage further capability over the United States identifying potential weaknesses. This really boils down to legal limitations and protecting the election process. So there's some people that say that he was saying, find these votes. How do you interpret that? They're focused on four categories of votes. And those four categories of votes are equivalent to 21,000 plus votes, which would lead to an outcome of margin of error where they could challenge this election. We've got to be vocal and we've got to remind ourselves why we are American first. How do you say you're an American first when the other part of the country that are not people of color are fighting against black folks? My job is to get smart. I want to take us to the United Nations. I want to take us to Congress. I want to prepare us to be assistant secretaries and secretaries of defense. And I think once we're able to build a momentum, a voice, we're able to connect across multiple avenues uh, to bring people together. And we have to take the high ground here in America. No matter what happens, we have to be the higher voice uh, to unite all Americans across the country.